I just got back from Ned Camp 2023 in Providence, Rhode Island, and I attended one of the sessions there that was so helpful. I thought I'd share it with you today. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. And yeah, the session I attended was on configuring VS Code, Visual Studio Code, to work with DDEV in your Drupal development environment. Yeah, that's a mouthful. If you're a content editor, this video is probably not for you. But if you build Drupal sites as an ambitious site builder, well, then this video is definitely for you because you do want to be able to set up a local environment using DDEV and Visual Studio Code to get all of the really amazing features that come with VS Code for Drupal. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm over at GovCon's YouTube channel because the video for NedCamp isn't available yet. The link is on the screen below. Maximizing Visual Studio Code with DDEV, Mike Anello. Of course, he wrote the book for us on DDEV over at OS Training, and his website is DrupalEasy.com. He does this all the time. There's some really great highlights in the video that I think you need to just watch. He offers an excellent starting point with the following plugins, Remote Explorer, PHP Debug, Doc Blocker, IntelliFence, Sniffer and Beautifier, PHP Stan, Unit Test Explorer, and Smart Snippets. He goes through each of these in the session to explain how they work and demonstrates them as you go. He also talks about the settings files and how to work with them. And as I mentioned, goes through each of the plugins and shows you how they work. I got to tell you, I learned some stuff here and I use Visual Studio Code almost every day. There's some really cool tools specifically for Drupal when you set it up correctly, which he goes through in the video. Now, here's a couple of other starting points for you, just in case you need some more help. The CMS Quick Start Guide for Drupal over at ddevreadthedocs.io is super helpful. Run those commands that are on the screen and you'll have a Drupal site ready to go. There is a configuring Visual Studio Code page over at drupal.org. The link is on the screen. Mike setup is a little different and probably a little bit newer than what this documentation provides. So I would use his video as a guide. And Visual Studio Code and DDEV, it's not for everybody, of course, but if you're a site builder that uses Composer and Drush, and so you have the command line tools, then Visual Studio Code is, it's a game changer for any time you want to edit a theme or create a module. Well, thanks for tuning in today. My name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. We release new videos on a regular basis. We'd love you to subscribe and we'll see you next time.